Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this quick time trial guide showing you how you can complete the time trials from November 5th until November 11th. Starting off with the RC time trial, for this one obviously you're going to need an RC video in order to be able to do this one. The time trial itself isn't really that difficult. The only real thing that you should pay attention to is whenever you go up a hill like this one, that should let your acceleration go completely and when you go down again to do the same thing. The Arsenbrito is a very light and sensible little vehicle that doesn't really like it when you handle it too rough. You know, it's a sensible little child. Other than that, it really comes down to just simply taking down these checkpoints one by one and getting your way to the finish line. As always, these checkpoints are quite generous, so don't be too worried about missing them. You should be totally fine. Even with uh, putting off a uh, six stun like I just did there, I was able to do this with about five seconds to spare. So don't worry too much about losing out on time. Again, it's not a very difficult one. The main thing you're gonna be doing this is basically going around the same place about two or three times and then going to the finish line. It's not a very difficult one. The regular time trial though, that's a completely different story. Up Chiliad is arguably one of the most difficult time trials in the game but it is still possible with a Baddy Ada one that is fully upgraded and I have the footage to show it because I also was able to do it with almost about five seconds to spare. This one is really all about using and abusing the wheelie in a certain way as much as possible. If you mess up at the start, you immediately want to restart because if you don't have a good momentum at the very start of this time trial, it's essentially immediately dead in the water. The tactics you want to be using by going up the mountain is very simple. You want to pull back your bike and then let it go forward again and keep doing that motion of going back and forth instead of committing to a full wheelie for the main reason that if you do so, you will lose a lot of speed because you're trying to wheelie up a mountain with a bike, which is just simply not going to work. Another thing that you should be paying attention to is that whenever you're on the mountain and you reach the top, you want to slow down your bike so you don't overshoot it. Obviously because you're wheeling and you're going quick. Obviously because you're wheeling and you're reaching the top, there's a high chance of you overshooting it. So by using that strategy, so by using that strategy of pulling your bike back and letting it go again, you're essentially creating constant acceleration, which is definitely what you're going to need. Arguably the most irritating bit of this time trial is the very last moment where you try to get yourself up to the very tippity top of the mountain and no it's not only halfway up because at that point you're already done really what you want to be doing is aiming for that little bit in the middle there and you can essentially go for two different ways either you can try to rambo it a little bit like i ended up doing by just going as quick as you can and then try to get a little bit lucky with some good rng so you can get up to that last bit or you can decide to start slowing down and basically be controlled with it and then make your way up to mountain that way. You don't have an awful lot of time to do this though. If you reach the top of the mountain, you have about 10 seconds to go, which is enough time, but it's still gonna be rather tight. So if you wanna have an easier time with this, then I highly, highly recommend you using a Shatoro. This way you don't have to worry about wheeling and the Shatoro is surprisingly good for off-roading too. All you need to do with the Shatoro is just lean forward to get your speed boost instead of constantly having to do the wheelie method that I mentioned before. So if you happen to have this over $2 million bike, and definitely start using it. Other than that, if you don't have the money for it or really don't find it worth investing into, Baddy Ada 1 is possible, but you're gonna have to basically strive for perfection. So it's gonna be a tough one, but once you get it done, it's gonna feel very satisfying. So definitely give it a try if you haven't done so already. Other than that, that was it for this one. I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for more, and consider becoming a member by clicking the join button down below and joining all the other lovely members. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.